two completely different numbers. Um, Hello everyone and welcome to Diet Starts on Monday. This is my new YouTube channel, well my YouTube channel <laughs> and a uh, series that I'm doing on. Um, this has been something I have wanted to start for I would say now years, absolute years. Um, I have struggled with my weight for about, I went on since I was about 19 and I'm 27 in July and I didn't actually realise that until I was writing um, the blog post that is going to go out with this video which is a long time to feel in all honesty a bit shit like I want to start by saying like there's nothing wrong with being any size at all from a size 4 to a size 36 as long as you are happy, healthy and confident and I am not any of those things. I haven't been any of those things for a long time. I'm um, not going to say I've been constantly sad since I was 19 because that's just not true. Um, <laughs> I have had some blo like bloody brilliant times but I have felt self-conscious. I haven't felt great in clothes. I haven't enjoyed a shopping trip with the girls or with my mum in years and I've had enough. I have had enough of not wanting to be in photographs on nights out or, or dreading events such as weddings or night. if someone says do you want to go out Friday night or Saturday night I'm fed up with my first thought being oh god what am I going to wear because I don't have anything that fits or I don't have anything that looks good or will that fit me anymore I've gained weight since I last wore that or I'm fed up of my weight going up and down now there have been points since that I have you know got to a certain point lost weight, been training really hard, feeling great and I've got down to a size where I'm more or less happy with but then it's went straight back on because I've either got cocky and been like well I can have like five curry cheesy chips in a day and be fine not that I've ever actually had five curry chips and cheesy chips in a day but like I've either got cocky or I've got to that point or I've got disheartened and give up or went this isn't sustainable I can't do this anymore so like I'm just fed up with it. I'm fed up with not enjoying myself. I'm fed up with being self-conscious and uncomfortable. I'm fed up with everything I wear or if I have my arms out going, oh my god, is everyone looking at me thinking that I look massive? Like that is literally my thought process at the minute and it's not fun. I love clothes. I absolutely love clothes and I don't enjoy them anymore. I don't enjoy fashion. I don't enjoy shopping days with the girls or with my mum. Um, and do you know what? My BMI is not healthy. I don't even know what my BMI is off the top of my head at the moment, but I'm five foot two and fourteen and a half stone. And as someone who used to be like a size six to eight, really athletic, constantly playing sport, to go from that to a really sedentary lifestyle where, you know, the most activity I have is walking to the shop to buy more chocolate. It's not good enough. Like I deserve better, to be honest. And it's got to the point now where um, I feel like I can't jump. Like if I, I know, well, I know you're like, oh, why would you need to jump? But you know, if, like say I would go to um, a gym class and they were like, right, bit of plyometrics, bit of speed bouncing, like jumping seems like a massive effort to me. Walking to the shop seems like a massive effort. Going up a flight of stairs, I actually get out of breath, and I'm 26, not 62. That should not be happening to me. It's, it's not fair on myself, really, and I owe myself more. So I have started this series called Diet Starts on Monday. Now the reason I've called it Diet Starts on Monday is because I have said that a lot of times. I think if I ever got a t-shirt with my favourite thing to say on it, it would be Diet Starts on Monday because I have started countless diets. I have tried everything. I have tried Slimming World. I have tried a calorie control diet. I haven't tried Slim Fast but I have tried just you know, I've tried low carb, I've tried no carb, I've tried all carb, I've tried like, I've tried everything and nothing has stuck and then it's really it's realizing that it has to be a lifestyle. Um I actually really enjoy exercise, especially once I get into it. I love the gym. It's not something I find boring, especially because I actually prefer going to classes because I think they push me harder and I'm to be honest fundamentally lazy. So I need someone standing behind me going, no finish that set, you can do more, do another set. I know you're tired, I know the sweat's dripping off you, but there's no reason why you can't do 
30 squats rather than 10. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't push myself hard enough. I need someone to do that for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's why people hire personal trainers. So I don't really fancy spending the money on a personal trainer, personally. So, the gym I go to, Pure Gym, is brilliant. They have some absolutely fantastic trainers who run absolutely brilliant classes. Excuse me. And, um, you know, I have tried everything from boot camps where I did get to really far, but I refused to adapt the diet to suit it. I was like, oh well, if I'm working out three to four times a week, I can eat what I want. No. No, I can't. Not at this age. <laughs> like, maybe when I was 17 I could do that, but I can't do that anymore. I'm not saying I can't eat what I want. Of course I can have what I want. Like, you can have, uh, you can still have abs and have pizza. You can still have the treat the odd time. But when you're crossing the line of having a takeaway for dinner most most nights, that's when, you, that's when I need to look at it. Like, my diet wasn't healthy. There was too much sugar, too much saturated fat, too much booze. And it's just, it made me mentally feel crap, emotionally feel crap, physically feel, I've never felt worse than I have in the last month. Um, constantly exhausted, my skin is so dry. Um, I've noticed as well I'm getting more spots than I have any other time in my life. Um, obviously I've gained weight, um, obviously I've gained weight physically, none of my clothes fit anymore. And then the ones that do, I don't like. So. I want to be able, like I'm sick of having a skinny suitcase under the bed, I'm sick of having the constantly going, oh when I get back into that dress, when I get back into that, when I get back into this, once I wear that, I'm sick of it, I just, no, I've had enough and I'm sick of feeling tired, I'm like, I'm sick of being sick of it, basically, and I've started and stopped and started enough times, so basically that's it, I'm overhauling my lifestyle, this isn't a diet. I know the title of it is Diet Starts on Monday, but that's quite tongue in cheek. It's meant to be funny and it's something like if you can't laugh at yourself, you know, what's the point? But that's definitely something I have had a problem with is procrastination and putting things off. So Diet Starts on Monday is kind of to do with that. So I have set some goals. Um, I want to get up earlier and start training in the morning. I prefer to train in the morning because then you get your evenings to yourself or you can even better do a bit of cover, you can go for a walk, go for a swim, hang out with your friends, etc. And I am quite a social person, so I like to do those things. And um, I don't want to be, I don't want to lose my, I don't want to lose the social aspect of my life by going to the gym, it has to fit into my lifestyle. So there's no reason I can't get up earlier, especially coming into the summer. Trying to get up between half six and half seven. Half seven is the time I would normally get up anyway, so I'm trying to get up between like six and half seven so that I can go to either a gym class or do a workout in the living room. It doesn't have to be a big massive change, it's just some simple changes that I want to do. I'm going to start to get up earlier. Um, I'm going to start to exercise more. I want to start, I want to go to a five day, day gym week and I think the best thing to do would be to work that way gradually. It's going to be very trial and error um, and I want to eat healthily. Now, I the diet, I'm like, it's not going to be like South Beach Diet or Slimming World or Weight Watchers or anything. The diet I'm going to do is literally eat less, move more. That's literally it. There, I'm going to be cutting down on the amount side, but not to the point where it's ridiculous because I need this to be sustainable. Like I said, it's a lifestyle. Um, the probably I will be following. A, I I think Joe Wicks, the body coach, is amazing. I think his ethos on life and his recipes are ama are absolutely fantastic. So I will be probably following a lot of his stuff. So it will be probably high protein, high fat, good fat, and reduced carbohydrate uh, unless I'm training. And um, so I'm gonna be earning my carbs and things like that. My pasta is my favorite food, so that's gonna be a struggle. And um, yeah, so that's how I'm feeling at the moment. This vlog series is designed to keep myself accountable. And if I help even one person, even if that one person is me, to improve their lifestyle, meet their goals, be a bit healthier, push yourself a little bit harder, then I'm happy, even if that one person is just me. So this is my video diary, and if you think it's something you'd like to watch, click subscribe down below, and yeah, hopefully we can go on this together. So let's do it, diet starts on Monday, week one, go. So it's day one, and it is 25 past 11 on Bank Holiday Monday, 1st of May. Uh, sleeping today and it was lovely. I'm just gonna get up and do some breakfast and then it's meal prep time. Oh. Hi. Hello. Are you Hello. 
Saint hello to you. Hey puppies. How to get used to everything, to vlog and everything you're eating and doing, like, but it's grand practice makes perfect and all that other stuff. Habitness, look at the sun, haven't seen it in Ireland in so long. But I haven't had breakfast yet, I'm gonna have breakfast and work, and I will vlog whatever I make. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday afternoon, I'm just in from work, and my makeup is all off. It's really, really hot today, it's a really nice day. And I'm just about to start making dinner. I have some peppers and I'm going to onions and salt. So I'm going to make salt and chili prawns with uh, corn on the cob. I forgot to follow a vlog lunch and any time in work really. <laughs> so, but for breakfast I had yogurt and berries with a little bit of peanut butter. For And then for a snack I had egg muffins. And then for lunch I had chili taco lattice boat things. But they were delicious. And but I'm starving now, so I'm gonna make something, and um, then I'm going to clean my room because it's mess. So dinner was really nice, but I was so hungry, so I'm having a wee bit of tuna with some spring onion and a tiny, tiny bit of mayonnaise because I'm going to wee bit of and black pepper. Delicious! And then it's shower and bed. Morning, everyone. It is Thursday morning. Um, ooh, I'm gradually getting up earlier every day this week. I've like been waking up like half an hour before my alarm goes off, which is really nice to have for half seven. I've been waking up around seven, so that's progress. Yay! <laughs> Um, I have been, I haven't even really missed bad food, to be honest, like I haven't really missed chocolate, like the odd time obviously, but I'm not like climbing the walls or anything, which is really, really good, I thought I would be. Forehead wrinkles. Um, yeah, I thought I would be really, really tearing my hair out for, for junk food, but I'm not at all. And, um, yeah, and I noticed this morning, and I am just about to leave for work. Having a breakfast, yeah, I'm gonna have that in work. I always have breakfast in work, I just think it's easier. <laughs> I have definitely noticed some debloating, which is good. Yay! I am, um, so I've got everything packed for today and I'm going to box fit tonight. It's a really tough class. I haven't been in a couple of weeks because I took a little break before I was starting this, so I knew that I was gonna be doing that. But, um, yeah, should be okay. <laughs> There's cake in the office, I'm not gonna have any. <laughs> no cake. No cake for me. Justin from Oxford. Oh my god, my face is so red, but I feel amazing. It actually was nowhere near as tough as I thought it would be for like my first kind of proper gym class back. I can't believe how red I am. Like look at that, that is hilarious. Um so I'm just in the door, I'm gonna have um what am I gonna have? <laughs> I'm gonna have salmon and some corn and broccoli and be super healthy. Um, I have to say, I have way more energy. I think that's why it wasn't as hard this time. I expected it to be really, really, really difficult. To be honest, I was kind of like, oh shit, this gym class is absolutely brutal. But it was actually like, it was tough. Don't get me wrong, I worked, but it was completely fine. It wasn't. There was no point where I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. So definitely, definitely, like eating better has definitely improved my energy, without a doubt. Like. 100%. I'm getting up half an hour before my alarm goes off. Anyone who knows me knows that I can hit snooze for three hours every five minutes. So that's insane. And that's after four days of eating well. So I'm excited to see what happens in the next couple of days, weeks, months, hopefully for the rest ever. But um, fuck my nail. Look at that. Disastrous. So this is dinner. I'm gonna have corn cob and Broccoli, probably some of these, a little bit of truffle oil, a little bit of parmesan. And this is balsamic vinegar, tiny bit of honey, chili flakes, black pepper, and I'm gonna ladle it over this lovely salmon fillet. Delicious! And let it cook in that for 20 minutes. We'll have a shower. Corn on the cob is boiling. 
broccoli has been blanched. Dinner is served, so balsamic and a little bit of honey salmon, corn on the cob with loads of black pepper, and baked broccoli with parmesan and a tiny bit of truffle oil. Delicious! Morning, it's Friday! Friday! I'm just walking to work. No breakfast yet. Sore everywhere from that box I class last night. But I'm feeling awesome! There was a little it's Friday afternoon, it's the weekend! Yay! So, just about to drive home to Mummy's house. And can't wait to see Milo and Mum and Dad and the cat. Um, it was a really good day. Didn't have a fat Friday, which is nice. And um, yeah, so just really excited to head home and have a chilled one. And go to the beach tomorrow and Sunday. So, um, I'll be vlogging that, which would be nice. And yeah, hopefully. We'll see some changes on the scales, it'll all be good. And obviously, um, vlogging work's kind of hard, so I haven't really been doing it, but today I had vegetable soup for breakfast because um, I forgot to bring fruit, so I got have yogurt and fruit, and um, so I like to have for breakfast. Lunch, I had uh, peanut butter chicken, which I did think I did put in, and um, then I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm gonna have that when I get home. And I had two coffees, woohoo! Morning, everyone, it is Saturday morning. Just woke up half an hour before my alarm again. Yeah, <laughs> really nice day outside. Yeah, so just it is Saturday afternoon, and I'm at Mummy's. That's why my room looks pretty. Look at my chandelier. Oh, I love my home room, and I've just done my makeup. And I need to blow my neck. And um, yeah, I'm just about to have some lunch. I'm gonna make crayfish with lemon and corn and green stuff. Didn't vlog last night. I had a chorizo and mushroom and spinach omelette. Yep, yeah, that's what I had. <laughs> and then I had the other half of breakfast this morning. So that's where I am at the moment. And it's such a nice day outside. Hopefully going to the beach tomorrow. We're supposed to go today, but then Dad decided to do man work. So this is today's lunch. Broccoli and beans with crayfish and lemon and a bit of butter, I think, and some corn on the cob. Mexicorn! Oh, cute! I know! Any chance? Come on! Milo! Milo, come on! Just that for a little walk and coffee run with little Milo! 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 That was the world's most disobedient dog, honestly. Weekend cheat meal Saturday, so oven chips, burger with cheese, and <laughs> fried onions and peas. Thanks, Daddy! You see, he ate that. Breakfast time! Sharing my breakfast with the cat. <coughs> Many lum things, don't you, Minnie? Get her off the table. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> Morning! It is Sunday morning and it's another beautiful day! Yay! Just getting ready, just have breakfast, just getting ready to go to the beach. And Sarah should be here any minute. I feel better, I feel like I have so much energy. I'm getting up so much earlier, like no problem. Anyone who knows me knows I sleep like an absolute corpse. So for me to get up half an hour before my alarm goes off every day is just it's amazing. I'm not really sure whether it's like the exercise, the diet, or what exactly it is, but I'm just feeling like I just feel better. It. <laughs> it's so much better than like eating crap and feeling terrible. It really is. But I'm gonna weigh myself downstairs. I should have done it before breakfast because it would have been would have felt better. <laughs> but that's what we're doing now. I am um, so going to the beach, taking off my varnish finally because it's a mess, <laughs> and. Um, I will not have a cheeseburger. No. Stop at the shop. And then I get some salad. Soup. 
Salad bar. Yum, 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 yum. Sarah's got an ice cream. <laughs> Look at this view. Baldies. I love it. So much cream in this. <laughs> I have tracks where my sunglasses were. <laughs> Oh god, that's so bad. <laughs> it's Sunday evening. I've just got to my house and I am shattered. And um <sighs> Um I had a cheat meal earlier, I had seafood chowder and some chips. And there was so much cream in it and it was so nice but I actually felt like I'd swallowed a bowling ball afterwards my stomach was so full and it just felt like <laughs> but it was so yeah so nice so yummy so I'm gonna get an early night well it's not really even an early night it's nearly 12 o'clock I'm so tired I am um, work tomorrow obviously so that is the end of week one and I should have weighed myself today but I didn't <laughs> because I didn't wait this morning and I didn't want to whenever I came home because I felt like I'd eaten a bowling ball. But um, I will probably weigh myself in the gym tomorrow and that will be my update. Maybe. Or I might just leave it till next week. I'll see. But so at the end, the end of week one and then week two um, starts tomorrow and I will be getting back into training properly. Um, I've been kind of going to the gym like sporadically since Christmas anyway, so I'll be going more regularly, probably five days a week, four or five days a week, when I'm in for that. So tomorrow training starts again, goodbye.